Hello YouTubers, this is uh, N0AGI and I'm here to do a short video of uh, one of the projects, a mini project that I was working on. So I have a need for a laptop uh, that has a, a TNC connectivity to it with a, uh, a mobile radio, maybe a handset a radio connected to the uh, TNC so while I'm on the field or uh, just on my deck trying to program uh, a few TNC related uh, operations like APRS or uh, ARISS APRS related beacons or M hoods or any of that kind of stuff where I would like to kind of just sit down uh, and open my laptop and start programming away. And uh, in the past, I used to carry uh, a TNC, my KPC TNC, my Yezu uh, FT1D, and a whole bunch of cables that came with it, connect them all up with my laptop, set up the station, and then start programming, which was kind of cumbersome, kind of waste of time, I thought. So, uh, Without further ado, uh, here's a solution that I found uh, that seems to be working uh, really well, uh, at least for my application. So I have uh, an old uh, laptop that I don't use as much. And what I did was, it's actually a tablet. It's a convertible laptop tablet made by Lenovo. It's an X60 model um, that I've had for many years and I use it for uh, what I call the guinea pig uh, scenarios in my programming and uh, experimenting etc. So what I did uh, this morning was I took the laptop out and made some uh, wiring for my TNC, uh, KPC TNC 3 Plus and my Yezu FT1D and kind of did a uh, Frankenstein uh, science project on it. So it, it looks a little kind of can of worms right now, but actually it's very, uh, it's, a, it's an organized chaos, so let me put it that way. Uh, but let me show you what I mean. So basically it's a, like I said, it's a an old used laptop. Basically you can you can pick up the laptop and just be on the road uh, with everything you need. You have the Yesu uh, HD, which is the, uh, this one is FT1D. Uh, that's my whip antenna that I use. That's my uh, KPC TNC, uh, kind of super glued to the back of my laptop. Um, and I retrofitted the uh, KPC with uh, uh, with this kind of push button uh, to kind of save me some time if in case I needed to do a cold reset uh, or a hard reset, however you want to call it. So basically it allows me to go back to factory defaults. Uh, and of course the, the KPC, the COM port, which is this big guy here, and the, uh, the data port. Uh, the data port is hooked up to my um, to my FT1D uh, at the top uh, port there, and at the bottom port is my power. Uh, so basically, these are all the wirings that kind of go up to the KPC TNC, and uh, the KPC TNC, uh, the COM port, which is this guy here, is hooked up to my USB adapter. Uh, and then that goes to uh, to my laptop, right? So that's it really and I think the the beauty of this is uh, not so much uh, about the the tablet or the devices themselves. I think the the beauty of this is hey, how quickly can I can I get going uh, without having to plug in, wire up, you know get set up, 
and uh, and then get going which is kind of a pain in the butt for me at least so anyway so here's another thing I've done I basically used a ton of velcro I used a ton of uh, not a ton but a little bit of uh, super glue to get things uh, glued on to the uh, to the laptop the uh, the FT1D by itself is not glued on to the laptop the battery is so let me show you what I mean actually before I showed you the FT1D battery I'd like to show you this here this is basically the power uh, for the laptop and uh, the power uh, for my KPC uh, and the Yaesu FT1D uh, basically just a wall warts and you basically can take this out or just snap it on so that's the velcro there then you can take this out so it can um, kind of dismantles like that and you can unravel the velcro or plug it in the wall and be done with it and once you do that now you're ready to go um, you basically flip open your you flip open your laptop lid and uh, you're all set to go. So in this case, as you can tell, that's the front of the laptop, obviously. Uh, and then in the back, let me turn this around. So that's my TNC the Yesu FT1D, the antenna is velcroed and I'll show you um, in a minute here. And that's pretty much it and uh, the way I kind of structured this is fairly straightforward. I took the the standard cable, I think it was whatever, four feet, three feet long, cut it down and uh, basically solder it together um, and made sure the, the ground wire all the other colored wires are all soldered in place and uh, insulated in place and uh, that should take care of that that's the data port the data port is basically um, that's the data port the data port goes down kind of you know fold it up and then walks into the uh, the adapter that you can buy from Yesu and then that kind of goes into the uh, the Yesu FT1D. The data port cables uh, I made them myself. Uh, it's fairly well documented by Yesu. So if you go to uh, FT1D website, as well as if you go to uh, Cantronics website, they have a a good uh, documentation for that. I'm going to attach uh, a a PDF document to this video that kind of talks about the wiring uh, pin out pin layout and the wiring diagram for the data port between TNC and uh, the FT1D so anyway so now the lid is open you know you can start programming away all you gotta do is basically plug these guys into the wall and you're all set to go now if you're done when you're done basically you close it up put it back on the back snap this in place and then basically you're you're good to go and then you're done and uh, it goes with you fairly quickly and easily you can drop it in your computer bag uh, while you're on the field uh, it works pretty well now let's go to the uh, a little bit more detail with the Yesu FT1D and the antenna the FT1D that's on the back of my laptop slid and this is the antenna that is is a I believe it's a Comet I forget the model number now I'll put it up in the description it's the Comet uh, BNC model whip antenna for um, 2 meter and 70 centimeter uh, so basically the way it works is again it's all velcroed as you can tell the base is velcroed and these are kinda you know securing points for it so basically you just un Ravel it and then just slide it out right and once you slide it out just stick it in your BNC port and you're done 
Uh, so, and then you basically turn on your radio, turn on your KPC TNC, and start programming away. Um, and it works pretty good. Now, when you want to put it back, uh, let's take this out here, and you basically Velcro it back. You can take uh, you can take these uh, these tabs out and then stick them in there, like for example, like so. Just put them in place and be done. Likewise, you do the same thing with that, so it stays secured. And uh, I try to keep the wiring as modular as I could. Um, again, there's nothing complicated here, fairly straightforward. It's the, the power of super glue and uh, the power of uh, Velcro does the, does the magic. Okay, let's go back to the front of the laptop now. And as you can tell, that's my Yezu's, uh, the back side of the Yezu radio. Now, as you can tell, these are the, the battery tabs. The battery is super glued to the back of the, the LCD. So you should be able to very quickly take or just push on the, the tabs, the battery tabs, and then release the handset uh, from the laptop. Uh, if needed. So let me show you that quick. Because I'm holding my camera on the other hand, uh, it's kind of hard for me to. Unplugging of the tabs here, so I did that just a couple of seconds ago. So basically the way it works is you you push on those two battery tabs and then basically lift up on the the Yezu handset. And that's it. Um, the handset comes out fairly easily and then you can basically take those cards out and you have your handset available to you for other projects so so you basically put it back together and uh, let's see if we can snap it into place there we go that's a beautiful sound sound of music now what else? That's it really and I'll have a couple of more videos later um, using this in, in my projects and uh... alright guys thanks for watching uh, we'll talk soon bye